there are times when people end up in situations where it's a bad job, it's a bad environment, and you don't know whether or not you should stay in it or you should move on to something else. The first thing I recommend is that you do a little bit of analysis to try to objectify what's going on. And I like to use the old Ben Franklin cost and benefits list. And so what you do is you create maybe two sheets. On one sheet, you've got two columns. And on one, it's, it's staying in this job. And you've got all the good reasons why you should stay in this job. And then you've got the bad reasons for staying in the job. And then on the other sheet, you have moved to something else. And you're listing the pros and the cons of moving on to a different job. That gives you an idea, an opportunity to, to look at the thing from a broader perspective and a more objective perspective. The truth of the matter is that almost all of us work in jobs where we don't enjoy everything that we do. I mean, I own my business. I'm in charge. And I don't enjoy everything that I have to do in my job. So by building this list of the pros and the cons for the job that I'm in, it helps me to focus on what to be grateful for, to consciously think about the wonderful parts of the work I do, and that keeps me from getting tripped up and getting preoccupied with those little things that might irritate me along the way. So you do that. Now, if you're talking about a bad situation because there's a legal question or because your reputation is going to be tainted in some way, and, and you're convinced that this is going to be a bad mark on your career, then it probably is time for you to start looking for new opportunities. And don't worry too much about that. You know, the average person coming out of college today is going to have seven completely different careers during their working lifespan. So maybe this is just part of the message you're getting, that it's time to look for the second step or the next step in your career. So if it does seem that it's time for you to start looking for something else, Focus on identifying your strengths. As a matter of fact, there's another video clip on the website that talks about how to prepare for your next job. And if you go and watch that, it'll give you some good ideas for how you can decide if, in fact, that a move is what's up next for you.